Hey everyone, I hope everyone have a good day. So today topic is just me just being a college student. Just like I'm telling you this month had been chaotic. <laughs> so it's just, you know, about the end of the you know, the semester of college and it's just everything just you know, just overwhelming at the same time. It just like, and also like trying to find me a internship along the process, and then maintaining this channel and my other social media account and Patreon, all that at the same time. And plus, it's the autism awareness acceptance month, so it's like chaotic. <laughs> then, of course, BS around this country. TikTok ban. Like, then of course, people don't have no common sense these damn days, and it's just sad. So, while they're going on, me trying to, like, you know, try to do my homework, try to find some internship, all that going on, wanting, then have to help out your. Your friends who deal with a rough time, who I mean, friends having a rough time with their family and friends and acquaintances. It was just a lot going on at the time, so it was like overwhelming. And and I'm tell y'all, like, especially the weekend come, I'm just drained. I'll be in my womb the whole time. So, yeah, despite all the chaotic, um. Just, you know, for this mom, my mama birthday on 420, you know, it's her birthday. So, you know, you know, I love my mama, you know, even though we, you know, have up to down with our relationship, but I still love my mama. And plus, she don't look like her age. <laughs> Black don't crack. <laughs> and it's the thing about her birthday is, is we day. So... <laughs> It's very interesting that her birthday on the National Wee Day. <laughs> yeah, so other than that, other than the chaotic going to school, um, I got in the fashion show because I think I saw like, you know, an email or the one of my um no label president at the time which, you know, no label for, you know, LGBTQ plus community student on campus, and plus it main focus is focusing on you know queer um, student of color. You know, talk about intersectionality. You know, in the LGBTQ plus community expertise. So I've been going there since last spring. So I love there, and of course, I think the president and the other um, people in the in the uh, club uh, officer about to graduate this semester. So um, hope they um, do well for themselves. And, just, and of course, the club ain't perfect because, you know, they don't talk about, you know, disability aspect. You know, they talk about, you know, LGBTQ plus issues, but not so much with disability. You know, they trying, but it's just, you know, hard. And also I try to apply for, you know, one for a like, stu uh, student club that I'm in. Like, I'm in four different clubs. Better at for Pies, which is an honor sign for county student and finance, but they kind of focus on county student. Uh, Delta Alpha Pi, which is for honor sign for a student with disability or disabled student. No label, which I already mentioned, in, and two, sig two Sigma with an honor study for Trevor student. So we're a uh, beta at the pies or I call it BAP. You know, I never thought about one for often that I got other issues, you know, you know, why I don't wanna do it. Even though I did find a good opportunity, you know, talk to different county firm and also network with people. But at the same time, everybody kinda of too they sell kind of vibe, so I kinda of like Ugh. Day, 
uh, um, no label. I do want to do it, but they're also new to the LGBTQ plus community, and I'm just a newbie. I'm just came up by I came up, you know, a year ago, so I have a lot of learning to do. So probably not one for all for there, but I did try the one for all before uh Dabby or or I said the Delta Alpha Pi or Two Sigma. Uh, I try to run for office for uh, a treasure off officer for Dappy, but I I did not get the position. I was a little disappointed, but it's what it is. But um, I think they do got a committee, like a fun something for like event planning. So if I wonder where they gonna set that up, they would. I guess everybody was so busy with school, so they not had time. So whenever they get that established and have people on the committee, I'll definitely go be on it. So, so for Two Sigma, I definitely apply for the same position for Treasurer. And for some reason, I got the position. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and also, just like, this is my first time having a club office uh, position so that is very interesting but i did thought about doing one back in my community college but at the time we're working and going to school at the same time i was not able to do it but sit down on campus and all the time i'm out way applying for the position and the people at two but they very you know welcoming and play we all were Trevor stood at one point we go upstairs and you know some of the all adults you know some of us you know follow our twenties and me about to be hitting twenty sixth in November uh I mean twenty sixth in October. I don't know why I say November but in October I'm gonna be twenty six. Yes, I don't look like my age. <laughs> I look like I might be like <laughs> younger but funny about that. I met my friend, her name Jayla, by the way. When she first met me like a year ago, last year at school, she thought I was 21. <laughs> I like, girl, I wish I was 21, but no. <laughs> I wish I was, though, but no. Nah. Then, I think I missed out in, in the uh, fashion show. I forgot, I didn't explain that one. Yeah, back in like March, and um, like I remember the no labor president mentioned about if anyone from the club want from want to join the fashion show, and I remember saying yes because like because I never did like a fashion show before, so that was very new, and just cause you know I got the hype for the bottles. I like y'all, so I'm gonna definitely go and do it. So, for the for no labor, it's like a ballroom. So I had had to like get like two outfit for the show, and I wore my yellow dress and a black um, jumpsuit. Ain't not with a jumpsuit, but but it cute though. But um, the fashion show was last week. It was a good experience, and despite the fact. Um, it's something about that one. Last week, my phone decided to die on me on Monday. So I had been without a phone for three days. And I was mad and make it so mess up my parent anniversary on the on Tuesday and I had no access to a phone, so it was just damn and I was stressing out like how the world, you know. You know, well, my phone, it's so weird out a phone. And then, of course, my mom had to calm down to Greensboro. And plus, we were living with Salem. Because with Salem ain't, ain't that far from Greensboro. It's like 30 minutes away. So, it's like, she went down, you know, get me. So, I got me a new phone. So, this is the new phone. I will go buy me a case, but I ain't got no money. So, <laughs> I call you college broke. So yeah, but my new phone pretty fine. So yes, and plus I'm on my phone. So oh, I mean 
And plus, I own my bed because I don't feel like be on my, you know, on a um, on the chair today. So I don't feel like it. So yes, and um, I have you know good good experience with the fashion show. Despite that, my phone went dead. But then the same week, I had to go to a volunteer um, because I had to do my volunteer hour for a bap or bake that for pies, you know. Because we had to do a six hour of community service per semester, and for you had to pay the, you know, the club fees. So it's like, ugh, all that going up. No wonder I'm broke. But anyway, so, um, yeah, you know, on that same day, Bet the Fashion Show was Thursday, last Thursday. And just, I have a good time. And after that, we have a pool party. I mean, of course, April for the school is Prime Month. And even the same time, it's Autism Awareness Month or Autism Acceptance Month. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, it may be interesting. So I have a good old time. I got my, my two black two piece. So I was looking cute that day. <laughs> I was feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. And also, I saw one of the cassettes who won from the RuPaul fat, uh, drag show. Yeah. You know, I was watching uh, Ru drag show at one point, and I think I stopped. I don't know what happened. I will get into it. But I saw one of the cassettes who won the uh, thing. And yeah, it was good. And I took a picture. Dang, I took a picture. And to be honest, I look like a hot mess so um yeah i like a hot mess so um yeah <laughs> yeah um it was a good experience even though i put the drawer the the drag show that we went to pool and then of course the drag show come and i could i usually i watch the show but i couldn't do it because i was trying to get used to my new phone i was mad i tried to do did try to sell my phone they try to watch the watch the drag show at the same time yeah it was a lot that day so um other than that you know of course you gotta find of course like i had to find some internship but it was so hard to find a dang internship and I would by growing frustration, like, dang, what I'm doing wrong? But of course, you know, I've been going to career fair lately, you know, you know, help me out. And the person who had been helping me out, and, you know, she helped me out today. And just, you know, I, I have a man with her today to let her know that. You know, talk about, you know, what I did, you know, in my searching for internship, what I applied for, things like that, and just ask some question about, is my system be okay, or what I be doing wrong in the interview, and things like that. And I have applied for this one internship, and they call it Integrate Advisor, and I never heard of them before. And I figured it for directly toward autistic student. So I think the internship is virtual. So I remember did the um interview last night, you know, with six questions and the two games. So I thought it was very interesting. I never had two great two games after the interview. So yeah, so um it was very interesting. Um yeah, it was very interesting. I think I had to do it for higher Vogue, I think that was called. So I never used higher Vogue before. So, yeah. Hopefully, I might be lucky to get it. But if not, I'm going to be pissed off. So, well, not just pissed off, but disappointed. Because it seems like every time I get, try to, it seems like every time I go to interview, interview process it always like make or break me well now i gotta get the internship or not so hopefully the integrate advisor internship may help me out i hope i get it i hope 
If not, I'm going to be disappointed. So, <sighs> I'm just going to be disappointed like usual. So, you know, core with my classes, you know, I'm taking four this semester because last three semesters, I was taking five. Five classes made me want to lose my mind. So, I ain't doing that again. So, yeah, so... I took four classes, one county class, one finance, one math, and measurement class. So, two of them, I made like an A and a B. But my last two classes, I made the C because I was doing well in them with a B average. Then I bombed the two exam. Yeah. That was like right after spring break. I'm like, dang. So, yeah. So, now I'm worried about them. Make sure I pass the exam part. I was getting worried. I'm like, oh, my God. I hope I get myself one. Maybe like a minus B. Hopefully. Or B. I don't know. Please help me. Help me. <laughs> like, help me. <laughs> You know, I'm a good student, but I just think I'm making, like, minor mistake. You know, I guess you, you, you're a college student, and you're already overwhelmed, stressed out, as it is. And plus, it's about the end of the semester at the years. It's like, ugh, why me? <laughs> then you'll be exhausted. You're going to want to do jack on the weekend. And I know it's like, from now on, like, when next school year comes, do not do homework on the weekend. Cause I've been noticing that, like, I don't want to do homework on the weekend. Like, I don't want to do homework. I just want to relax and chill out. Or I'd be so overwhelmed. I'm just like, why would it, like, I'm going to be mentally exhausted at that point. And, of course, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, managing this page, managing Patreon, managing my social media. Everything else, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, in court, you call it both, try to find your internship, yeah, and they're overwhelming. So, and, um, and uh, even though, despite all that chaotic thing going on, even though I went to the fashion show as a model for the school, got me a position had to be the treasurer for Two Sigma, went to a pool party. And, of course, I might go back home this weekend for my mom's birthday weekend, which my mom's birthday is 420. So, I'm going to celebrate her birthday. So, I'm probably go back home and with a sailor and go celebrate her birthday. You know, she going to be 54. Well, she is 54 now. So, yeah. So, and, you know, of course, my dad, his birthday been passed back in February. But he, like, 70. Wait, I look. Yeah, he's 72. He don't look like he's 80. He's so my parents do not look like they're 80. So, yeah. You know, black don't crack. <laughs> I don't crack either because I don't look like my age either. I am so youthful. <laughs> so, yes. And, um, and by all that, I got one more year left till I graduate from UC Greensboro. So, I got one more year. So I have seven classes left. So I'm gonna take four this four classes in the fall and three in the spring. I'm gonna try to find me some for the spring semester for internship. Hope I find some. If not, I'm gonna be mad. But I think I'm gonna continue my education at UNC Greensboro to get my master's. And my goal is to become a CPA. So, yay. So, um, and despite that, you know, I remember, like, lately I have been thinking about, like, you know, I'm not that active on my social media like I used to. And, like, in the starism, you know, being an activist, you know, I ain't, know I ain't get a lot, you know, traction like I used to have just you know when about two years ago I decided like I want to dissociate myself from the general artist community because like but you know what's going on and I tell you know of course with 
you know, pandemic going on. People saw their bigotry and they said they're going to represent everybody in the artistic community. And some people are very bigoted and don't care. And I don't want to be part of the community that say we support everybody, but we report for some, not for all. So me, who are marginalized, I don't feel right. And plus, ever since I became an activist, you know, in the autistic community, as well as in the junior disability community, I get a lot of heat, you know, talk about race. Why talk about race? Fool! You keep forgetting not everybody in the autistic community go be like you. Not everybody in rain man. Like, and I think ever since, like, I distanced myself from the autistic community, I don't get a lot of traction like I used to because I know the facts in my social media. I don't get a lot of traction, or I did not promote myself like I used to. But right now, I had some people uh, had contacted me if I want to, you know, be in their podcast or just be, you know, speak at the event for this April since the, since the autism accepted month. So I decided to say yes. So I did one for, oh God, this is so bad. But it was three of them. I think one there was sensory, sensory, uh, sensory room. I forgot sensory. Some do with sensory. I just forgot the name. One do it in with um part. I do it with intersectionality part. And three, I I had one for tomorrow. It one person who had been following me on Instagram. Woman asked if I could speak at the event. If I it's like a, a Christian school. Talk about, you know, advocacy and faith. So, I never thought about, you know, beginning the video talk about faith, you know, while being an advocate. You know, me, like, you know, growing up, you know, like, always have faith, you know. Even though, especially with me being in our church growing up, you know, I was, I'll let you know I'm a Christian. And um, just, you know. Kind of been, not being in a church that much, but, you know, it's one man, I'll be there, one man, and I'll be gone. But why right now, everything going on, back to what they're doing to the, uh, the trans community, they're very, very, very uncalled for, and how, you know, certain Christians want to be a bigger so bad. Like, it's sad that, that they go going to judge people instead of themselves. It's just sad. And plus, the way the modern-day church going, it's just... I feel, feel like some of them go be very hateful and very fear of judgment. And, you know, it's just, I don't want to be part of that, like, judge people. And don't get me wrong, I be judging people too, but it's just, you probably go to a place that you don't feel judged, but then you're going to be judged. And then when you get to church, and then, of course, some people don't practice what they preach. So, you know, I got a weird relation with faith. So, even though I'm kind of, like, going back to faith, but I thought no say, I thought saying universal God and talking to my ancestors. Yeah, yeah. Recently, you know, I thought no say, I talked to my ancestors and, you know, saying universal God. Because, you know, God could be everything, could be Allah. I don't know God everywhere. <laughs> so, I said universal God and talking to my ancestors. Because I know my aunts are there for stuff. So I hope what they be saying to me and you for God, lead the way. Because I don't know about spirituality like that. But I hope I feel spiritual. But that's, I'll let you know. I don't feel spiritual right now. Maybe because I have so much stuff going on in my life. I don't want to think. So hopefully, maybe with that event tomorrow. And it's going to start tomorrow at noon. And I think I'll post it on my Twitter and, and Instagram and TikTok, if y'all want to. Oh, man, y'all, dang. Oh, crap, I forgot. Y'all probably gonna miss it. Dang. Hope they get, like, a, a record the, um, the event, but who knows. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully, um, hopefully there's gonna be new experiences and and talk about, you know, life and things like that. So and faith. That's gonna be an inspiration subject, so 
you know, I, even though I don't have a lot going on, just going to school and just living life. And even though, hope I pad my classes. There's them two classes. Hope I get at least a B. Ooh! But for the summer, hope I find some internship. And now I'm going to probably be on my job at retail. So, make, you know, have some money with me and things like that. And I'm um, let y'all know, I'm going to take a week off on, you know, when school over, I'm going to take a week before I go back to work. So, I'm about to let my boss know, like, I'm going back to work or something, whatever, but day. So, let, I'm going to let her know why I think about it. But, um, yeah, so, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to probably be working throughout the summer and maybe need a vacation, but it's a pay if I got some money. <laughs> so, and also, I need to be worried about the housing situation at my school because I applied the, uh, um, the payment and the contract, housing contract, very late in the process. And now I'm getting worried I'm not going to get me one because everything is so filled up. So hopefully I get me a room by June because every time so I get on the the housing website, you know, sign myself to room, it'd be like, give you three options. One, you are signing yourself to room, which I didn't. Two, not, two, not the time, or three, all filled up. I'm like, dang. But hopefully, I get me a housing. But even though I don't mind living off campus, but you know, everything going expensive these days. So I'm not taking the risk. The way I've been getting paid at my current job, that is not going to work. So, nah. Nah. So, that's not going to work. If I be on, which is not going to work. So. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So, um, whew. y'all gonna pray for me if y'all believe in faithfulness. <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> pray for, for myself. <laughs> like, and also, like, I had made some changes to my Patreon, and um, I changed the pricing and uh. And uh, to my tear a little bit, you know, match up, you know, what I believe in, thing like that. And try to post on my Patreon as much as I can. So I made some changes to my Patreon. So, you know, random. So I'm, I guess I have to go back and figure out what, what style I want to do in my Patreon. So if y'all want to talk about things on my Patreon... Go to my link tree, or you, or you will see in the, I about forgot, in the description, you go by the link tree and, and all that stuff, and hopefully, y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all.